a lot of things have gone wrong. For one, a lot of other countries, or almost every other country, has found a way of developing their game to try and catch what Westerners were doing in years gone by, while the Westerners just stood still and never tried to do anything different. What we need to do in the Caribbean is make sure that the grassroots are a lot better than what, what's happening now. You need to develop the grassroots, you need to put infrastructure in place. You need to go out and look for cricketers. The days of cricketers just turning up wanting to play, or kids turning up wanting to play cricket, those days are over. There are too many other attractions. The Westerners team at the moment is not doing well, so there's nothing there to motivate a youngster to say, look at that, I want to do that, or I want to be like that, that particular person. So you have got to go out and look for those cricketers. The administrators at the moment, whether it's the Westerners cricket board or the individual boards around the Caribbean, I don't see them doing that. I've been working in England now for the last 15, 16 years on a regular basis. And almost every year I hear about different camps or different schemes going on around the entire country, looking for cricketers and in particular fast bowlers. The Westerners need to do things like that. Find a sponsor who is willing to put up some money to have these camps and advertise in the respective islands. Whether it's in St. Lucia, Jamaica, Trinidad, wherever, we are having a camp at this school or this particular ground on this day from this time to that time. Come and show us what you can do. That sponsor provides t-shirt for the kids with the names on it, provides food and drink for the kids. Have it a fun day, but at least you're having kids there trying to play cricket. And the scouts, you may call them, or just coaches, whoever they may be, watching them and say, hey, that kid looks as if he has some amount of talent. Let us find out from him if he's playing at school, if he's a member of a club. That is what we need to do in the Caribbean. We are not doing things like that. We are waiting on the next fast ball or the next great cricketer to fall out of the coconut tree. It ain't going to happen. Go out and look for them. There are about seven of them playing in the IPL, if not more. I don't watch the IPL, so I'm not too sure exactly how many of them are there. And that's another big problem for the West Indies. It's twofold. In one, there's a lot of money to be earned at AIPL, so kids or cricketers will want to earn that big money. And two, the West Indies Cricket Board is giving them the reason to want to play in the IPL because they are not treating their cricketers with respect. What happened in India is because of lack of respect of the cricketers, why that tour is abandoned. And if you don't treat your cricketers with respect, you'll find catastrophes like those in India, and you'll find that they'll look for other employers. I was speaking to a friend of mine before coming out here for the Laureus Awards and talking about that and talking about the lack of respect that the administrators have for the cricketers. And he said to me about Mikey that's been going on for years. And he started to mention names of old, Frank Worrell and Alfred Valentine and guy. I said, yes, sure. But those days they had no options. You either played for the West Indies or you didn't play cricket. These guys now have options. So if they do not respect them and they do not treat them the way they should be treated, they'll look for other employers. And that's exactly what's taking place.